Hello everyone. I hope this season is treating you well. We're in a great time of transition here, when early spring and late winter intermingle, mud and ice, frost and flowers. It's a sort of time that often makes me feel a bit impatient for things to move along, but I try to remind myself that it is this very waiting period that is so crucial in our lives, that patience is needed for things to work themselves out. It may feel like nothing is happening, and then, right under your nose, the flowers are suddenly blooming and the sun is warm and the days are long again, much in the same way. I know the future will reveal itself in time, and I can accept it despite reservations and seek out the beauty in whatever it entails. For a springtime treat, I decided to make some time for fun activities and went to visit my friend and she showed me her new chicken coop she had built herself. She sent me home with a beautiful collection of guinea and chicken eggs of all colors and sizes, which I had to put to good use, of course. As you know from my previous video, I've been working through some big emotions as well as practical considerations for the months to come. Taking time off work to be a new mother and figuring out what the years ahead hold in store for us. I couldn't help but look to nature for insight, seeing the way that all these plants, dormant throughout the winter, pop through the snow only to be eaten up by hungry critters fresh out of hibernation. As humans, we may take setbacks like this to heart and become overly cautious, afraid of everything that might go wrong if we allow ourselves to step into the unknown. I think our complex minds can work against us sometimes. And yet, those plants that are nibbled away aren't bothered in the least. They just keep growing, putting what energy they have into life, because for them, there is no point to existing if you can't grow. It's an absolute must. I am waiting for the muffins to finish baking and it was just so much fun to look at all the different eggs and all the different colors. My mother had chickens for several years and it brought back so many memories of those Easter eggs. As I'm waiting for the muffins to finish baking because I'm very hungry, <laughs> I am gonna go around my home and just look, see what stands out to me, see what I want to focus on, next week for simplifying everything. I'm gonna make a very involved video of going through everything and I hope it will encourage all of you, maybe if you're doing a little bit of spring cleaning or reorganizing or even decluttering, you can do so along with me. I will be slowly piecing the process and putting it all together, so I hope you enjoy it and we will see how it goes. I'm sure I will have some sentimental items from my childhood that may be hard to part with. One of my goals with simplifying my home, getting rid of unnecessary items, being more, more mindful with my spending overall, is to make room and make space in my mind for projects that I really want to get done. And one of them is making this door more attractive. <laughs> I have seen so many beautiful doors on homes, but they're very expensive. So instead of getting an uh, actual wood, very nice door, we're going to redo this one. I think what will elevate it is to do a much darker color. I have a lot of paint swatches and I think one of the colors I'm considering is more of a terracotta color, like a rusty orange red and I think it would look quite lovely. I hope it will be able to elevate a very inexpensive door and make it look a lot nicer. So there you go, there's just some ideas with reasons why I like to simplify my home because I feel like I have more mental space to work on these little projects that I've really been meaning to. And coming from someone who has spent a long time sanding, 
repurposing and upcycling things from thrift stores and flea markets with a lot of patience, a lot of time, a lot of simplifying. There can be a lot of fun little projects you can get around to doing. So that is my goal now. The theme of this year, as I put in my last video, is simplification, budgeting. I was raised by very frugally minded parents, and so um, I want to continue that and instill that in our own children as well. That is certainly the whole theme of this year, so perhaps I will inspire you as well if you've been wanting to get certain things in your own life in order. And if not, maybe you can just enjoy this little peruse around the home trying to figure out what projects I need to get done. The muffins are almost done baking and the smell is driving me crazy, <laughs> so hopefully I'll get to enjoy them very soon. My family has taught me that the most important thing to do when faced with an uncertain future is to live as simply as possible and be humble in one's desires and consume with intention. I was raised this way by parents that always showed me the importance of having just enough, giving generously, and enjoying the little things. Living simply doesn't ask me to live a Spartan life devoid of all my artistic desires and small joys. I am an artist after all, and will forever be redecorating my home in increasingly ridiculous whimsical ways, <laughs> utilizing the treasures of thrift stores and estate sales. I will enjoy my candles and books, but these things will be carefully considered when they enter my home. I found it to be incredibly fruitful to examine not only what I consume, but why I consume it, and make sure I'm making choices with intention, creativity, and practicality. While perusing my home, I couldn't help but take a peek at my husband's crystal collection. He likes to go on long hikes in the mountains, keeping an eye out for crystals sticking out of the ground. He's found quite a few over the years, and something that always strikes me about them is how imperfect they look in their natural form before being polished and perfected by chemicals and machines. It always makes me wonder how much I've allowed myself to be formed by the world around me, making sure I don't lose sight of my natural self. Speaking of natural self, I decided it was high time to give away some clothes that no longer fit me before pregnancy. I really started prioritizing my health a couple years ago and happily no longer fit in some old items. These belong to a body that's stressed way too much without eating nutritious meals. A sign of success, to be sure. Going forward, I want to be a lot more mindful with what I consume and why I consume it. I made a video a while back in autumn of my kind of low buy autumn and, and getting on a budget, and it was really insightful and really fruitful. I was also raised by parents that instilled a lot of these more mindful, frugal values within us. As I said in my last video, this is a new era and I am changing so quickly, I, I'm just shocked. <laughs> and I hope to encourage you, if you are coming into the springtime or just a new season, that maybe this is a great time to do some simplifying, decluttering, creating goals, as well as being gentle to yourself and mindful in the present. It's all an interesting balancing act, but I do notice that when great internal change happens within, pretty much everything without needs to change as well. And I kind of like that. It's a true transformation. I have restocked my Etsy shop. I do not have too many items on there, but I just, I do have some. And so I really appreciate it. I am working on some new art pieces. I hope to have those at some point in the future. Everything moves slowly in my life right now, slower than ever before. 
I also am doing recordings and live streams and fun videos on Patreon as well, and that has been really fun. It's been super fun to connect with the small community there. I appreciate all your kindness and support. I hope you're all doing well. Let me know if you're doing some spring cleaning down below, and I'm sending you so much love. Goodbye.